Okay, class, uh, this is our final lecturette, and I wanted to, of course, uh, summarize the section on human resource management. And uh, here, the emphasis is really going to be kind of in three areas, kind of by level of organizational um, strata. Uh, starting first with uh, the managerial uh, element within the nonprofit. Uh, all of your people are assets and not expenses, and it's important that you begin with that premise that uh, you need to, um, as with any asset, you need to optimize its use uh, and value it and take care of it and maintain it. Uh, so in the case of the managerial side of things, your managerial staff should be uh, very involved in um, every aspect of the organization besides their own um, specialty, specialty niches. This includes uh, having them present during board meetings. This way they get the big picture. This way they understand the overall strategies that are being employed within the organization as a whole. And they're able to effectively uh, communicate that down the line and, and uh, again, it kind of prevents problems later on. Um, you should be spending um, significant amounts of resources in their development. And again, of course, it depends upon the nature of the organization, the size and everything else, and what your capabilities are resource-wise. But don't scrimp in this area. Um, ideally, you have your people uh, at the managerial side, uh, undergoing trainings and development uh, sessions, I would say every other month, uh, basic rule of thumb. And this can range from uh, taking seminars uh, in risk management. These are things that can be done online. Uh, having them uh, attend grant writing workshops, which are widely available in at least most major cities. Uh, and otherwise, having them um, exposed to best practices within their respective fields. So uh, if they have the opportunity to attend uh, professional conferences uh, and uh, they can, uh, the organization, and they are inclined to participate, uh, don't hesitate to send them. It'll be something that will pay off in the long run for your organization. You should also uh, develop your managers so that, again, they're a long-term investment. Uh, one of the things that is remarkable uh, about the nonprofit world is that, and again, broadly speaking, uh, very low turnover rates. You have turnover rates of around 5%, which is uh, very good and indicates a great deal of loyalty. And this gets into the idea that your people are working for you because they, um, they understand your vision, they understand the mission of the organization, and they subscribe to it, and they're dedicated to it. So that tends to keep people there. And uh, you want to uh, use that as a point of departure, not in an, as an end in itself, and simply depend upon that assumed loyalty uh, to keep your people around. You should be developing your people. Uh, when you get to staff, a uh, very similar uh, attitude. Uh, staff should be feel valued. Uh, you should compensate them uh, to the best that your resources can do. And uh, similarly, you should look at their development as well and groom them potentially for managerial roles. Um, in the nonprofit uh, world, um, more than in other uh, instances, it's a really good idea to cultivate your own, to grow your own, to plant the seeds, cultivate those seeds, and have your own people uh, develop and bloom within your organization. Uh, finally, getting to the, um, to the volunteers. And this is tricky stuff. And very much depends upon what your volunteer core really looks like. If these are people that are regulars, that is say at a food bank, where they are uh, volunteering their time to uh, distribute food on a regular basis, 
then um, you should really mu very much value that. But along with um, those that are less regular volunteers and uh, say involved in events, um, you should give them close supervision. You can't assume that they know everything about everything and that they can operate autonomously. I think a good rule of thumb is you should have one staff person available for every five to ten volunteers that you have involved. And this, of course, depends upon the nature of the work that they're doing. If it is fairly routine and well understood, such as, say, um, staffing a thrift store or a coffee shop or um, um, you know, distributing food at a food bank, that kind of thing, um, that you, you, you maintain supervision, but you can go with a larger ratio of volunteers to supervisors. If it's uh, more of an event, like a, say a, um, a creek cleanup, environmental cleanups of some sort, where you're bringing people in and maybe you're, they're involved once or twice a year, there you want to have much closer supervision and you must do your, really your due diligence and really prepare for those events in a good way so that things stay safe. Make sure that they're well equipped and make sure that they have, in that case, I would say the ratio should be one staff person for every five volunteers, simply to keep a handle on things. Uh, assume nothing, even in the case of picking up trash. People can get into risky situations sometimes and you want to avoid that. So safety first, particularly with volunteers who are coming in on those kinds of events. Um, otherwise, uh, the book really covers this fairly well. Uh, I, you know, there's a great deal to be said about this. We can't cover this all in this particular session. All I, I would um, emphasize, though, is that uh, your people in the nonprofit side are true assets, and you should do everything possible to recognize that. And it goes beyond compensation. The compensation can be intrinsic in nature, and this includes you know regular recognition for the sacrifices they make, because they're, they're certainly making sacrifices on behalf of your organization, and you should understand that from the get-go. Uh, that's it for now. It's been a pleasure uh, working with you in the, in the course. Um, I would have you know preferred to have a um, somewhat more face-to-face -face opportunity, but uh, given the nature of the, the program and, and the way the course is structured, uh, I'm pretty pleased with uh, the caliber of people that have been involved, the caliber of work, and I hope that you've really gotten something out of it. So thanks very much for that, and uh, carry on, and uh, good luck with your own uh, individual, personal, and career development.